Brooklyn guns being used to commit violent crimes in Spartanburg County. Deputies tell us there have been a string of burglaries in seven neighborhoods on the west side of the county. The stolen guns are causing serious concern for the safety of families in those neighborhoods. Our Aaron Rodgers explains it's a story you'll see only on 7 News tonight. The passenger got out and it was pretty much like right here and I said don't even think about it. Mike Olbetter describes what he witnessed last Thursday in front of his home in Carlton Creek in Duncan. It was an interesting morning because then about we had about 10 cop cars sitting in front here. After a rash of burglaries in seven neighborhoods. I came out, the car doors was open. Spartanburg County deputies got two of the three people they say are responsible, facing 102 charges, mostly car break-ins. They've arrested Brandon Tucker and a juvenile. They're still looking for a third person. They're not Jimmy and Locks out and they're not breaking windows. Uh, the car break-ins they were successful were from unlocked cars. In this crime spree, deputies found three guns. Two were in a four-year-old child's playhouse. In all probability, a child would have found those guns hidden under some leaves before an adult. Deputies say guns stolen out of cars is a problem. Two of the last homicides we've had in this county resulted from guns stolen out of car breaking. Deputies say the gun used in a deadly shooting of a high school student in Larkin Park was from an unlocked car. Just take 30 extra seconds. Neighbors say they are going to be more careful. He's very cautious now. Before, he, he won't worry about it. But now, I think that, you know, it's a definite lesson learned. Deputies say it doesn't have to be an expensive lesson either. Door locks come for free on every vehicle you buy. Like in this homicide in Larkin Park, it could have saved a life. And I don't think any citizen would want to find out that a gun they left unsecured was used to kill somebody else. In Spartanburg County, Aaron Rodgers, 7 News. Tucker has a long history accused of breaking into cars and petty larceny. Deputies say Tucker's responsible for recruiting juveniles and creating a theft ring.